Before we continue, I need to say something about the way the tower is being built. I mean, it's, it's like I couldn't figure out how to do the connection with the pilot. And so I tried to dive at me. But lava crumbled in the sand. And so now it's regular. There's big contact with the past. But I mean, it's got to be pretty special stuff. Because I um, this is quite hard. And even if it's. When I asteroid that's been around, it's down as, I think the actual answer might be a special material that has to be designed with. Just saying. The other thing that's bugging me about the story is the numbers on the blogs that are doing like a 50 kilometer by 50 kilometer block. Block on the North Ball or South Ball make up five percent, but actually that's probability. Probably more like one percent. And then the big lines from North Ball to South, four big lines. Make up 25%. I don't know if that's true, that's probably. I doubt that's really. So, anyway, that, those numbers are official. They're made up by carbon curing true. The real thing, and inanimate carbon sequestration is true also. Like carbon fixed without trees or anything, and. In the work, where that goes, I don't know. It's a kind of concrete that was developed for the moon using height and the natural sulfur content of the rock there. But be this is possible too. There's a sulfur, a sulfur gas and rain in there. Or at least I hear from some sources. I don't know if that's true or not. But regular 
We'll probably have to be important from the asteroids. And then carbon could take out of the atmosphere and add two concrete units to cement blocks. And then the whole world could be covered in these block, blocks. <laughs> Bond by concrete made in the ignition way, and then all the carbon will be locked up and sequestered forever. And people could bond and have a life there, maybe.